Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Real quick, I know we're running on time, but thank you for being here today and your service. Uh, just real quick, uh, Redstone Arsenal, uh, you know, we have quite a bit of things in, in Redstone and done a great job for the American people. Uh, looks like we've got a great chance to have the space come in. General Lyons, how important is that? How important is, is us to move up in, in uh, Space Command? I know we're on the infant ages of that, but what do you, what do you think about Space Command? Uh, Senator, I think, uh, I think space is clearly a warfighting domain. Uh, domain. I think the, the creation of Space Com as well as Space Force is critically important to the way we're going to operate in the future and the, uh, you know, the character of warfare as we see it. I, I really can't comment on the basing issue, whether it's Huntsville or some other location. I, I will confirm just being an Army officer and knowing what's at Huntsville, how critical that installation is to uh, Army operations and other operations and such. Thank you. General Walter? Couldn't agree more. Space is a warfighting domain. It's, it's a pretty large domain compared to all the others, and it, it's important that we understand how to effectively compete and, and deter and defend in space. What do you think about laser warfare? I've seen some examples of that in Huntsville and, and what we're developing. Uh, do you see a future for that? I, I do, Senator. I think we need to continue down that path. It's, it's not cheap, uh, but the return on investment due to accuracy and lethality is very powerful and very compelling. General Lyons? Uh, Senator, I would just say, you know, anything that provides us an opportunity to bring lethal effects on an adversary to compel them to our will and our national security aims has to, has to remain on the table. Yeah, thank you very much. And just a quick comment about earlier about some things that were said in there. I was disturbed a little bit about you using the word white supremacist. You know, I'm, I'm a football coach, you know, in trade, and I build teams, and that's what you're doing. You're building a team. We got people in here that's never been on a team. They don't understand. You recruit people and you make something out of them, and you bring them together, and you fight together. You live, you eat, you breathe, and they come from all economic backgrounds, every culture in the world. Some people don't understand that. They don't understand it, and, and you will eliminate them, as I did when, when I was coaching. If you had somebody that wasn't a team member, they were gone. You do the same thing in the military. We need to stay out of that. We need to leave it to the generals, which are, to me are the coaches, uh, the people that do it, that get it done, that know these young men and women, because listening to, the, to our uh, people of the day that we were interviewing about our draft in the future, which, you know, we want to draft women. I, we think they, they serve a great, great purpose, and we're going to need it. Now, this is a dangerous world, a dangerous world, and we can't sit back and, and try to tear our military down uh, from people that really know, know nothing about it, about building a team. So I want to apologize for that. I mean, that was not a, that was not a good uh, selection of, of questions uh, I don't think for this committee uh, because we're here to help. We're here to uh, give advice if you want advice, but not give you advice. So you have to have to take that, you know. And I was disappointed in Secretary Austin. Uh, you know, he's an Auburn guy. Uh, and first thing we do is we stand down, stay out of it personally and in terms of publicly. You know, I know being a coach, there's a lot of things you didn't bring up publicly. You kept it within because you've got to build because you you divide if you start bringing it up publicly. So uh, we need a killing machine, and we're going to need one. Just look at what's coming. So thanks for your service and your building, and hopefully we can keep people out of what y'all do and do great because you're the defense of the world, not just the defense of this country. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.